Hello everyone and welcome to my talk, Empowering Scientists with Data Literacy Skills in Long Range Genomic Sequencing. My name is Katharina Wolf and I am from the TU Braunschweig. The world is filled with a sheer endless amount of plants with interesting properties, ranging from color variations to metabolites relevant for various industries. And with the emergence of long read sequencing technologies such as Oxford Nanopore technology, we are finally able to unravel the secrets hiding within the genome. However, this amazing technology is often not accessible to students until a later stage of their degree or even their thesis. Here we want to enable students to gain hands-on sequencing experience at an early stage of their scientific career. With an increase in sequencing technology accessibility, there is also a rapid increase in availability of data. But it comes with many opportunities, it's also facing its unique challenges as we are currently faced with the lack of data utilization. Education about data management and data literacy is largely restricted to dedicated data science study programs. However, we see a necessity to equip students of other subjects and especially in the life sciences with the necessary skill set to fully understand, analyze and visualize their own generated sequencing results. Therefore, we constructed a course that follows the idea from plan to publication. It starts off with the theoretical basis to equip the students with all necessary background information to plan and conduct their own complete genome project. Next is a practical part which consists of wet lab and dry lab. The results of this will be written into a scientific report and peer reviewed by fellow students in the course. Lastly, the students will present their results in form of an oral presentation at an international symposium. The workflow of the practical part of this course is aiming to connect the wet lab and the dry lab. In the wet lab, the students begin with the extraction of DNA of their chosen plant, and it ends in the library preparation and sequencing of said DNA. While the dry lab seamlessly connects to the wet lab by beginning with the base calling and then moving on to the assembly of the plant genome, the structural and the functional annotation, and lastly, the data submission to the relevant databases. Throughout the course, there were several key teaching techniques that were applied. First off, the empowerment of the students. By allowing students to choose their own project and tools throughout, it created a sense of responsibility and independence for the students. Additionally, the interdisciplinary teaching approach was a nice way to introduce students to subjects they previously had no experience in, like the computational biology, while combining it with something they were familiar with, like the wet lab. Another big focus was on a collaborative learning environment. We encouraged students to discuss questions as a group and come up with creative solutions together. The course aims to allow students to conduct their own genome project and has a very big research-oriented learning focus and allowed students to come up with their own hypothesis and test these. This went hand in hand with writing of a scientific paper. Additionally, the peer review and peer feedback helped students to identify key points of a paper and how to give and receive constructive criticism and apply it. Lastly, the oral presentation in the International Symposium was a nice way to not only allow students to practice their English speaking skills, but also to summarize their results in a short and concise manner. Summarizing the lessons we learned from this course. By connecting different subjects, we were able to introduce students to new fields they previously had not considered, as well as giving them hands-on experience in both genomics and computational biology. There were several key teaching strategies we identified, mainly the idea of the own project. Students really enjoyed working on their own research project, which gave them a sense of responsibility and independence. Additionally, the peer feedback was an important tool to help students identify the important points in a publication. Additionally, the individual approaches were very appreciated, allowing students to choose their own tools and making their own mistakes and learning from them. All teaching materials are available on GitHub if you scan the QR code on the right, as well as the publication via the other QR code. Now I come to the end of my presentation and I would like to thank the Stiftung Innovation in der Hochschullehre for their financial support as well as the German Network for Bioinformatics for providing the needed computational resources to make this course possible. Lastly, I would like to thank all of you for your attention and I am looking forward to answering any questions you might have.